G'day and welcome to Body Awareness with me, Patrick. Uh, today we are going to be talking about some of the safety aspects to the combinations of work that we're going to be working with over the weeks and the months. So body awareness is the anything that you know we I, I pick up along the way that isn't yoga and under the form of Krishnamacharya or it isn't Tai Chi under Chen Man Ching or Professor Wong or they're both professors yes uh, the body awareness is uh, the safety aspect so work with the breath you know this is this is from yoga as well as Tai Chi and being a human you know watching the breath is always a, a, a good thing to do you know and that can be a guide for your safety yeah and other safe requirements do what is safe for you it's your own personal competition your own personal connection to body and mind and awareness so you're doing it to create calm so don't stress the body out by do something that's unnecessary or unsafe that said you can uh, extend and feel the body in a safe way you know you can roll the muscles out create space yeah and that's the body awareness the you know and connecting that with you know some of the the qigong which is not tai chi no not yoga no but well worth exploring so Let's talk about the safety on uh, the uh, something like a, a simple forward bend or getting down and up. Take your time. That's always good, you know. Take a pause, you know. Do the videos a couple of times, you know. Use a prop, you know. If a forward bend is coming down, you know, there it is. You've still got your forward bend, you know, and then coming back up, you know. No one's getting hurt. And um, safety, it's about having soft joints. It's about having a smile whilst you're doing it. Not many people get hurt while smiling. Um, and being kind to yourself. This is These are safe things to do. Um, and appreciate the alignment of the body and not stressing in Tai Chi you know it's a there'll be another talk on the safety but it's very quick because all it is is having the knees going over the feet and yoga can be the same thing you know you don't want this collapsing into the knees tailbone tucking under creating length so a lot of this safety stuff is uh, really about your own your own practice because it's your body you know what you can do you know what's safe for you to you know rock and roll with and it is a bit of rock and roll because you it's not complete this this body awareness it's sometimes good to go through an exaggeration yeah. but you wouldn't throw yourself into that first thing in the morning a warm-up is really good for any body awareness and this is why we start with a warm-up for a lot of the sessions that you know we do not so much um yoga because you can come up with the forward bend and if you stay on a bit later for the next session that's what we're going to be talking about for yoga the forward bend back to safety don't get distracted that could be a good safety tip be mindful of what you're doing. Uh, don't throw yourself into it. And the longer you take to get into a pose, it can be a safer approach to your um, it can be a safer approach to your action yes when working the body when it's 
loosely aligned. This can be safe. This is safe. Yeah. Taking your time to get down to the ground. This is safe. And having patience on a daily basis and with your progress. This is a safe way of, of um, going through movement with the breath. It's very safe. We spoke about the knees going over the feet. This is, this is good safety. Yeah. We spoke about the warm up before you exercise. This is good safety. And uh, we spoke about using props. This is good safety. We spoke about patience and awareness and using the breath. All these incredible things that you can work at the same time to have a safe practice. Yeah. And in body awareness, it doesn't matter what type of um, your practice is. A lot of these things can be helpful to your everyday living. So a, a gardener might do a little bit of a warm up, yeah? Roll the joints out three times in each direction. That's a nice warm up, isn't it? Yeah. This is nice before you go out and you're bending over, up and down. Yeah? Even warming up with leg stretches. These leg stretches themselves are a safety mechanism. These body awareness movements with breath and mind from the ancients, these are, um, they're safe. They're good for you. They're, they're good for body, mind, and breath, and energy, contentment. This is nice. Hmm? And if you do them safely over the top, you, you know, you, you, it's a win, 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 win. But, and this is, there's not a lot of, of doing this stuff wrong if you're doing it for the, the right reasons. Not just the kids, not just the beautiful landscape, but for, you know, the connection to land and community and yourself and, you know, just the competition to be where you are with yourself. And that doesn't make you want to have to be like Dave Goggins. Unless you're Dave Goggins and you want to run yourself into the ground, then there's your safety net. Um, but if you want to feel less pain, then doing things with awareness and a warm-up and good timing, it... Uh, it allows you to, if you like doing these exercises, this is going to allow you to do more of them. Um, and a warm down, this is also a safe thing to do. So you warm up, then you work with awareness, and then you warm down. What's a warm down, you know, at the, you know, time to bring the heartbeat back to, to its comfortable rhythm, uh, just a rolling of the joints again in that slower motion, um, even the leg stretch, yes, this is always good. And uh, a rest or drinking water, this is good safety, drinking good water, drinking good water with good exercise mindfully, whoa, that's, that's That'll bring a, a smile to your face. Is there anyone out there asking questions? No? Okay, well, thanks for joining me. Well, the first edition of Body Awareness Live. Stay on for Body Awareness Yoga with me, which will be starting in about two minutes.